But every kid who grew up in my village wants to be a professional soccer player. But the chances of actually being a professional soccer player is like, it's very limited. And from my village, I, I believe I'm like the second player to have like turned out to be to be a professional soccer player. So it's really there's like the chances is really really small. So it's even the day before the draft, it's like you have a chance. You have a UAG, and so you're possibly going to get picked by a team. But you just can't really believe. It's not like a reality. It's like you're dreaming. So I call my mom, you know, I'm trying to explain everything to her that I mean, tomorrow I might be a professional soccer player. And, you know, that's something that I kept on telling her. And she, my mom has never seen me play soccer in real life. She just, like, never seen me play. She just hear from people that I play soccer and I'm somehow good. But she just never seen me play. And so I, I told her and she's like, oh, okay, good. Okay, cool. And I was like, wow, that's excitement. Like, so, um... I think the day I got there and I'm like, wow, this is actually happening. I'm sitting in the seat and, you know, it's going through my mind. Like, I don't care where I go, what place I go, as long as, you know, I make my dream come true. I make, you know, the people that, you know, all of the, the people who are looking up to me and um, wanting me to, like, reach my, my goal. And um, I saw, I sat down and I got called and I just couldn't believe it and I prepared a whole speech but I couldn't even read it, I was just in tears and I was shaking the whole time and it was, it was an unbelievable feeling and um, up to now I still, I still can't believe I'm, you know, I'm in the league and each and every day I'm like very thankful for the opportunity and making good use of it. So.